Welcome to the video. In this one, we are going to be going over how to add text, how to add shapes, and how to change color in Affinity Photo 2. So before we begin, I wanna make sure that your screen looks like my screen. So what I'm gonna do is go up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. And if you're not sure, what this does is it resets everything back to default. So if you're ever working in Affinity Photo and you drag something out and you wanna put it back and you're not sure how to do it or something's missing, again, go up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. Everything will go back in place. Okay, cool. Moving on, let's create a new document by going up to File, New. Now, no wrong answer here. Pick whatever you want. I'm picking FHD and clicking Create. Okay, now we got a canvas. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go over to our tools on the left-hand side to find some text. So if you scroll down, you will see there is an A with a box around it. Now, like all Affinity Photo tools, if there's more tools in here, you'll see this little triangle pointing down, which means they've grouped some tools together that work similar or are the same. So I'm gonna click on this little box here, this little triangle, and you can see under text, we have the artistic text tool and we have the frame text tool. The artistic text tool is for typing headlines or maybe a couple lines, but the frame text tool is for writing things like paragraphs. And what you can do is draw out a rectangle or a square and you can confine the text to that shape. So let's just start with the artistic text tool. Now you'll see my mouse has changed to an A with a little target on it. And to start typing text, what I'm gonna do is just click and I'm gonna drag. And you can see when I drag it back and forth, I can just pick whatever size I want. So I'm just gonna pick this and I'm gonna type this and I'm gonna cough. <coughs> yep. Okay, so now you can see the cursor here is blinking, which means I'm still selected on text. I'm gonna go over to the tools and I'm gonna click on the move tool, which is this arrow. And again, with all Affinity Photo tools, if you put your mouse just over top and hover, it'll tell you what the tool is. And in brackets, it'll tell you what the shortcut is. So I can either click on this or just hit V and it'll bring up the move tool. Okay, so now I can move the text around. I can also resize it by using any of these little nodes on the corners here. It'll make the text bigger or smaller. And you'll notice when I'm doing this, in the top toolbar, the text number is changing. So you can do it this way. You can use this little arrow here to change the text with preset sizes, or you can just type in here. There we go. Okay, so that is how you add text. Awesome, we're amazing. Let's keep going. So let's say now we have some text and we want to change how it looks. Well, this is very standard. This is almost like you would do it in Microsoft Word or any other program. Your text is going to be up at the top as long as it's selected. You can see your fonts up here. I'm just going to pick uh, this one and that looks good. Okay, so let's change the color now. Now, color is by default in two different places. It is in the toolbar, the tools at the very bottom here. And it's also, there's a little panel over here on the right, you'll see color if you click on that. And it'll bring up a little color wheel and the same thing. So it's the same thing up here is the same thing as down here in the left. Now, there's two little circles. You can see one is white, one is black. One is going to be a stroke color and one is gonna be a fill color. So I'm gonna select my text. Now, you can see my text is black. This circle is black. So this is my fill color. So if I just grab this color wheel now and I just move it around, it's just gonna change the color of my text. Super exciting. Okay, so the little circle behind it, if I click on it, what this is, is the stroke color. Now, right now you just see a white circle with a red line through it, which means there is no color. So if I were to add color now, cause now I have it selected, I've clicked on it. And again, it's the same thing as down here. You can do it either way. And I drag this to a color. Now you can see, if I go back and forth, there's a, an outline appearing around it. So that's the stroke color. So you can add, it's almost like an outline. So you can add your fill color and your stroke color. So the front, this one is fill and the back one is stroke. Now say I wanted to get rid of this stroke color, this little circle here, the white circle with the red line on it, if I just click on it, then the stroke disappears. So that's how you'll change color. And that'll be for shapes or anything else you add. That's normally how you'll mess with the fill color and the stroke color. Okay, so let's add some more text. We're gonna use, go back to the tools. We're gonna click on this little triangle here and we're gonna add the frame text tool. And now you have a T with a box around it. So you're gonna frame some text. So if I just click, and drag, oh, hold on, click and drag. 
this is how big my text is going to be. So I'm just going to put it right here, line it right up. Okay, so now we have a, cool, we have a text box, there's nothing in it. So you can either paste stuff in here, type. What I'm going to do right now is just insert filler text just so I can see how it looks. And to do that, I'm going to go to the top, I'm going to go to text, and I'm going to go insert filler text. Okay, cool. So it's just filler text, it doesn't mean anything, there's nothing there, but you'll see as I drag the box, it confines to that size. So if you put some text in here and start moving it around, it'll confine to whatever, whatever you want. So that is the frame text tool. So these are basically what they're for. The artistic would be larger text with a couple lines, and this would be for more paragraphs or, or more text heavy stuff. And the same will apply to this if I wanted to change the color, I have it selected right now. There's a box around it, so I could change the color. I could change the size, which again will adjust to the box itself. Okay, this is looking beautiful. Next up, let's add some shapes. Now, the shapes are in the tools as well. So you'll look around, you see a circle here. And again, there is a little triangle, meaning there's more stuff in here. I'm gonna click on that. And Affinity has created a bunch of pre-designed shapes for you, pre-size, not pre-size, not pre but predefined shapes. I'm gonna pick the ellipse, the circle, and if you just click and drag, it's gonna let you, you know, create a circle, but it's not gonna be perfect. So there's a way to do that, but this is what's gonna happen by default. I just want you to know that. So if I just drag out this, just say I drag this right here, I'm gonna unclick. Now I have a circle with nothing in it, or it looks like nothing's in it. So I'm gonna go back to the move tool, I'm gonna move my circle around. I'm gonna make sure I have a color selected here, a fill color, I'm gonna change it. So let's make it, mm, let's make it black. Okay, so now we have a black circle. And same thing, if I drag it, I can adjust it, I can play with it. Cool, move it around. So let's say I wanted to add a circle, but I wanted it to be, this looks a little funny, right? If that was supposed to be a circle. So I'm gonna add another circle by clicking over in the tools bar on the ellipse tool. And this time, and this applies to any shape, if I hold down shift on my keyboard and then click and drag, it's gonna make a perfect circle. And it'll do that for any shape. So let's change the color of this one to something rather exciting. So that's how I'll add a shape. And I can do the same thing. I have my shape selected if I wanted to add a stroke. I could click here and I could change the stroke color. But I'm gonna get rid of the stroke because I don't like it. So this is the basics of adding shapes and changing colors and adding text and changing text. I know it's not super exciting, but you gotta learn how this stuff works because it's the basis of affinity and once you do, you're on your way. So if you have any questions, leave, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you have any suggestions or quicker ways to do it, hey, we're all here to learn. So thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.